it's really hard physically when you start doing the, the, the footwork, you know, you sweat a lot. But it's also mentally challenging because you have to keep the rhythm and you have to coordinate with your arms and eventually get to express feelings. So it's like a lot of stuff to, to pay attention to. <laughs> Clara Brazil moved to Madrid, Spain four years ago to devote herself to flamenco dance. You're making music with your feet and you're dancing. And when you master all of that, you have to express yourself. It takes more than heart and soul to master this art. Many professional flamenco dancers start at a very young age, just like ballet dancers. You have to study it, you have to choose a master. It's very important to choose a good one. Someone who fully understands um, the rhythms, the culture, the singing, um, and every, every rhythm is called a palo. With roots in Indian, Arabic, and Spanish cultures, flamenco dance is known for its sweeping arm movements and rhythmic feet stomping. To master the technique is difficult and dedication is key. Oh, I believe in myself, I can do it. I keep going, I keep going. And if you feel pain and everything, you know, you just have to focus and, and, and it's good for you because then you grow as a person and, and you feel more powerful and, as a person because you, you were able to, you know, complete your objective. Flamenco dance has inspired people in different ways over the years. World famous fashion designer Balenciaga incorporated the art form into his designs, helping to create some of his most memorable masterpieces.